During the application development process or after the application is developed, when the execution results do not meet expectations, debugging is usually required. However, debugging of serverless applications has always been criticized. What are the ways to quickly debug function compute? What are the ways to quickly deploy function compute? Hello, and welcome to this episode of Cloud Forward. Today, let's discuss the debugging and deployment features of function compute. In serverless architecture, debugging is often a great challenge, especially when it is restricted by environmental factors. There are usually situations where the developed application can run healthy and, as expected, locally. But there are unpredictable problems on the FAST platform. Or in some special environments, it is difficult to stimulate the online environment locally, making it difficult to debug the application. However, various cloud vendors have not given up in-depth exploration in the field of debugging. Below are some methods we will introduce. First, let's take a look at online debugging, which includes simple debugging and breakpoint debugging. The so-called simple debugging refers to debugging in the console, taking Alibaba Cloud Function Compute as an example. Basic debugging can be performed through the code execution button in the console. The Function Compute code editing page can also stimulate some events by setting an event when necessary. The benefit of the online debugging on the event page of Alibaba Cloud Functions Compute is that it allows the testing of code using some online environment. When the online environment has VPC and other resources, it can be difficult to debug locally. Except simple online debugging, some cloud vendors also support breakpoint debugging, such as remote debugging for Alibaba Cloud Function Compute. We can take Alibaba Cloud Function Compute remote debugging as an example, which can achieve online debugging of functions through the console. After creating a function, you can select remote debugging and click the start debugging button. After the function compute remote debugging page starts debugging, wait a moment and the system will enter the remote debugging interface. The second debugging method is the Edge Cloud Collaborative Debugging. When developing serverless applications locally, it often involves some online resources such as triggering functions through object storage triggers and accessing databases through VPC. At this time, the inconsistency between the online and offline environments will make offline development and debugging face great challenges. Serverless devs development tools use the method of setting up proxy to connect online and offline resources which can quickly help developers develop and debug applications locally. This debugging method is called Edge Cloud Debugging. Serverless devs deployment tools will create auxiliary services and functions according to the YAML configuration file. And through the auxiliary services and functions, it will achieve the connection between online and offline resources and complete end to end debugging. The third debugging method is remote debugging. The Edge Cloud collaborative debugging involves a channel service container locally and function compute container to execute local functions. On the other hand, remote auxiliary functions simply send remote traffic to the local environment. During actual debugging, it is necessary to log into the instance for project debugging, and in this case, remote debugging can be chosen. Compared to end-to-end -end collaborative debugging, remote debugging has only one channel service container on the local side, and the entire execution process depends on the online environment. Remote functions return the execution results. 
In addition, we can also perform local debugging, including debugging through command line tools and editor plugins. Most FAST platforms provide user with relatively complete command line tools, such as Alibaba Cloud's FunCraft. And there are also some open source projects, such as serverless devs that support FAST platforms from multiple cloud vendors. The method of debugging code through command line tools is very simple. Taking serverless devs as an example, the method of locally debugging Alibaba Cloud Function Compute is first, ensure that there is a function compute project locally, and then execute the debugging command in the project, such as debugging in Docker. Let's take a look at the debugging through editor plugins. Taking the example of the VS Code plugin for Alibaba Cloud Function Compute, after downloading the plugin and configuring the account information, you can create a new function locally, set breakpoints for debugging. Other debugging methods include local debugging of web frameworks and local event simulation debugging. Next, let's take a look at how to quickly deploy functions in Function Compute. The method of deploying functions is very simple and does not require special dependencies. Even without Docker, it is possible. The first deployment method is to create a function online and upload the code package or update the function by uploading the code package. The second deployment method is client-side deployment, which uses command line tools to execute fun deploy to deploy the function or uses the VS Code plugin to click the upload and deploy button for automatic deployment. If you are keen to know more about Alibaba Cloud Function Compute, click in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos of Cloud Forward in the future. Until next time.